Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dolbeck. Today we are going to speak about the most stressful role in New World, Aeternum. This is the healer. Healing is so stressful because people depend on you and you know people who don't have that much experience in the game gonna say that they die by the healer because they just don't understand why they are dead uh, they are gonna have bad positionment stuff like that and then they are gonna die and they're gonna say why you did not follow me there well you know if i follow you i'm gonna die with you so yeah this is being a healer is the same thing in pvp and in pve it's the most stressful role in the game and it's like this in a lot of mmorpg hey listen I'm not the type of dude who like excuse, alright? But I did not play New World during 3 months, okay? And I changed it from Windows 10 to Windows 11 and now today I tried to play New World first time in 3 months and my game was lagging. I still made this gameplay just to have a gameplay but I'm gonna have to do some problem solving probably to make my game run properly. And you're gonna see my 2 death is are la because of the lag so yeah so uh, i'm gonna start by the different type of either i have like a list of things to say uh it's about almost everything uh i, I if i forget something you can tell me like uh I'm, I'm maybe do more video on the subject like uh, i'm just you know making video so uh the we're gonna start with the aoe aoe is all area of effect uh, you're gonna throw there's three main aoe that you can use it's the sacred ground beacon and orb of protection uh the weapon perk on those on the orb of protection is good and the sacred ground it both are two really good weapon perk but uh, on the beacon you don't really need it maybe they're gonna change it for new world right now but weapon perk beacon you don't need it um uh, so then the, the aoe gonna be more to spam on the point for people who are not moving too much because you put just some circle on the ground and people are gonna have to stay into it uh, it's gonna be for the um, the dungeon the expedition uh yeah pve it's really good uh, as a healer what is hard is find your teammate so don't hesitate to open the map and look for your teammate but make sure to look on the top uh, left corner of your screen what is the color of your teammate before looking at the map for it because trying to put your mouth on it doesn't work you're gonna see i try and it's pretty hard to do it it worked but it's hard so and then when you're gonna get in war people are gonna use more uh, splash of light it heal multiple target at the same time but it's not a aoe it's uh like a single target but to multiple and it cleans people so people are gonna use that just to be able to take off the disease the slow the, the rand there's a lot of uh, effect like this that you can take off with the splash of light so people are gonna use splash of light i think divine uh, there's two single target but they use the one without the speed I'm gonna come back later about the uh, the one with the speed. Right now we are speaking the there's one um, single target that have the weapon perk that when you heal someone that is below 50% you get it really fast and people are gonna use that under staff just to be able to spam a single target heal on, on one dude if you keep getting low or like just on uh, teammate side to side and this heal can heal two people at once if they are close so this is good for war uh, and then uh, into OPR and open world people use almost anything they want uh, they're gonna use a bit more of that war build too but uh, what I've seen people do that is like amazing if you are a kill squad player like you, you, your goal is just to chase either and just to harass people it's not to stand on a point you don't need to have sacred gun you don't need to have like AOE heal so like your goal is to to focus on ace i had a friend doing this and we had we did some great gameplay like this a 50 kill i did a 50 kill game uh, when he was hitting me um it's you have the two single target and you have a beacon so the beacon what it does it does an ace 
and there's one of the single target that's that that does haste too so it just spam the divine the one that come back fast and the beacon can do and then he used the other one with the ace when he sees someone with that need a haste you see what i mean so th th this this was amazing and one of my lord doing that it was one of my great experience in the game so uh, if someone tell you that there's only one way to heal is wrong uh, you can do it with multiple weapon if you put uh, there's the nature nature gem it's like the green gem that you can put in your weapon and it make every weapon scale of focus so in small scale you can use uh, you, you you can go see i have a, a video with a great sword i put a, a gem in the great sword and i just go 3v3 and i win seven 3v3 in a row while solo queuing so like there's some nice stuff to do don't don't stay too much in the meta the meta is for war and if you're out of the war just have fun uh, yeah, so the meta is constantly ev evolving, so if you're used to play a bit with everything, when the meta is gonna shift, you're, gonna, you're not gonna get like, uh, oh no, I don't know what to do, the meta just shift. And then, uh, yeah, so it, it really do be like that, so um, get ready that the meta is gonna shift, having some item, like, uh, okay, so imagine you think you're just gonna use three perk and then you drop some item with the other perk you just salvage them and then the meta shift and then you're like oh no i salvage my item so you need to make you're gonna see you have a lot of locker in every city you're gonna have some inventory space and make sure to keep some armor stack uh, somewhere like um, if you're healing only mostly the healer stuff if you're dps mostly dps stuff it's really important seriously uh, and yeah <clears throat> so depending on your type of healing the people you're gonna heal gonna be different so you need to remember it if you're aoe healer and you try to go heal the people on the side of the point it's gonna be really hard for you to just target them imagine you're healing an archer with aoe heal it just makes no sense you, you need to go on the point and throw the the, the circle on the point uh and if you have the single target you go heal the archer you see what i mean and the kill squad so uh the off end sadly the off end is mostly just rapier uh rapier 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 and then for pve there's the void gauntlet sometime in war most of the team put one void gauntlet to heal on the point he put that dude's gonna put AOE heal on the life staff and AOE heal on the void gauntlet and he's just gonna spam both. He's gonna have really low constitution and he's gonna hide into the back line. This dude is gonna get like di completely destroyed if uh, you guys lose but if you guys win this dude's gonna pop like a couple million heal for sure. Uh, so you guys gonna have an artifact that you're gonna have to go take it's the fitter way to it make uh, Just go look man. There's a lot of video about that. I'm not gonna make a video about that it, it, Just go look fitter weight. You need that when you get max level uh, I think soon it's gonna be 725. So I hope that artifact can reach 725. I, I'm pretty sure yes But yeah, we'll see uh so yeah uh, position man really important uh, d don't get pulled by your teammate into the wrong place uh, it's like the worst thing that can happen if you're a wee healer you can stay closer to your to your group to benefit of your own aoe you can just run around into your heal but if you're a single target you, you better stay a bit behind and just like try to outplay people with the environment and like when i sit behind it's the behind it's more like just running around the fight and outplaying the people with the environment and using your teammate as a mid and as a mid shield so as a healer what you need to remember is you are in the best position to do call out if you see something if you see your teammate at the wrong position you tell him and nobody's gonna hate you for that like oh come back come back but you there's a good way to say it you need to stay respectful uh, don't act like if you know more than anyone it's just that you're at a better place to see what is happening so you just tell him and you don't even need to tell him this part you just say hey come back you're too far and it's far enough like 
most of the people are gonna understand and if he's not coming back you go in the opposite direction and if you die it's his fault you say, and if you die you say i told you and that's it man that, that's how it works you, you're a healer and, and you you like um you manage the rhythm and the flow in a way uh, if that makes sense so there's some sketchy thing to remember in the game if you're a light armor healer what you can do people are chasing light armor people they are trying to find with their eyes someone look who look like a light armor with a life staff and it's it's what they are seeking and they are just running around and looking for that and what if your skin doesn't look like a light armor so you're gonna put a skin that look really easy almost like if you're a tank so when he's gonna pass his eye on you it's just like not gonna like instantly catch he's gonna have to read your name and secondly this is almost like cheating seriously there is life staff that look like a spear so you put the light staff that looked like a spear and you put the EV armor and then you almost look like a spear user. Like at this point you almost better put a shield. Seriously, it's like you look like a, someone with a spear. There's just the, the only difference is a small light on the top. Uh, so yeah, you're gonna use that. Kite the enemy, I bet they're gonna lose you. And yeah, it's one of the tricks to healing in this game. So Right now, you have become a professional Templar, you are ready to heal your teammate, and you're the best. Thanks a lot for watching this video, tell someone you love him, peace out.